Hello and welcome. Please pause this video, read the problem, and try it on your own. So let's read it together. Um, in this problem, Jacob and Zachary go to the movie theater and purchase, purchase refreshments for their friends. Jacob spends a total of $18.25. So actually, let me write that in green because we're dealing with money here. $18.25. And what he buys is two bags of, I'll say P is for popcorn, and three drinks. Three and D represent drinks. Now, to be careful here, remember that I said P is for popcorn. Really, P is the cost of popcorn, right? Cost of popcorn. And D is the cost of a drink. Think about it, because here, um, the number two represents the amount of popcorns he's buying, amount of P, and three represents the amount of drinks. Now, usually, uh, you know, you want to go through the prop, the the process of labeling all this stuff, but um, P is is for popcorn, but it's it's for the cost of the popcorn. We don't want to lose sight of that, right? And we know that because I used two and three to represent the amount. So P is not the amount of popcorn we're buying, or D is not the amount of drinks. It's the cost of drinks. So this is for Jacob here, so I'm going to just write J for Jacob, right? This is Jacob's equation. Uh, I'll use a different shade of green-ish here. It's like a, 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 nice, a nice green, you'll see. So Zachary, 27, 50. And what does he do? Well, he has four bags of popcorn. So P is, again, the cost of popcorn, and then this four is the amount of popcorn, plus two drinks. So two is the amount of drinks, and... D is the cost of a drink. And this is not for Jacob, but for Zachary. So notice, they didn't say anything about a system of equations. But as I read this, I made these two equations. That's a good habit to get into. Because now I've got everything set up. And in fact, I'm just noticing we answered the first question. This is to write a system of equations that can be used to find the price of one bag of popcorn and the price of one drink. Well, that's what these two things are here. Then they want us to use these equations to determine and state the price of a bag of popcorn and a pop, a pr uh, the price of drink. The price of a bag of popcorn and the price of a drink. Oh boy. So here, let's just put these two equations together. So I'm going to just copy and paste. You might want to rewrite them. All right, I'll move this down here. And then this equation, we have, oops, let me select that. Ah. So this one, I guess I can't get around those arrows. That's okay. All right. So I'll move these together, I'll line them up, and I'm trying to erase this. Oh, that worked, okay. So here, with the exception of the P, everything came out good here. All right, we want to eliminate, uh, that's the way I'm going to solve this. Um, the P's and the D's are already lined up, so I want to set this up so I can easily eliminate um, these equations. So what I'm going to do is multiply our second equation by negative 2. And the reason I'm going to do that, because I think it's easier to eliminate our P variables here, if I multiply 2p by negative 2, I get negative 4p, and then I'll have opposites. And when I add opposites, I eliminate that variable. So watch what happens. This is just one way to solve it. Um, so 18.25 times negative 2, we can do that in many ways. I'm going to use the calculator here. 18.25 times the negative signs down here, negative 2. So it's negative 36.50, right? And that might be, feel weird at first because we have this negative cost, and we know we can't have that. But since we're multiplying everything by negative 2, this will ultimately balance out. And don't just write 3D because we're multiplying everything by negative 2. So it's also going to be negative 60, right? The second equation, I'm just going to leave uh, the way it is. I'm going to leave it as 2750 equals 4P plus 2D. And now, if I add these two equations, this is my go-to strategy. I like to add them. I have opposites here. These two variables will cancel out. So it's going to be 0. Negative 6d plus 2d is negative 4d. So I'll get just write negative 4d. And that's going to equal negative 3650 plus 2750, right? Which is negative 9. So here, that just means negative 4d equals negative 9. Now to solve for d, we divide by the coefficient of d, negative 4. And that just means d is equal to what? Well, two negatives divided is a positive, so we return a positive. 
4 goes into 9 twice with a remainder of 1, so that's 2 and a fourth, or 2.25. So a drink is $2.25. Now we just need to find the cost of the other item, which is popcorn. So in, in both cases, I, we're going to assume, I think, uh, they might have said it, but we can assume that Zachary and Jacob paid the same rates. They weren't charged different rates. So we can now plug this cost for a drink into either equation and then solve for the bag of popcorn. I'll plug it into the first one. So we know that 1825 equals 2p plus 3 times 225. So I'm just substituting. Instead of writing d here, I write 225. All right, so here we have 3 times 225, which is 675, plus 2p equals 1825. And to find out what 2p is, we subtract 675 on both sides, right? So we can set this up easily here. 18.25 minus 6.75, it's 1150. And then to solve for p, we divide both sides by 2. And p equals 575, I believe. I got that right. I'm going to check in the calculator because my brain power is feeling pretty low right now. 570, oh, 575 times 2 should be 1150. And it is, so I got it right. Um, to go further, we could plug these numbers in and check, but I'll leave that to you. Um, you could plug in 575 for popcorn and 225 for drinks, and you will get the cost that uh, Jacob and Zachary paid. Now again, as you go through problems like this, they might not say write a system of equations, they might say it. Either way, that strategy can really help you deal with all of these variables. And I think we got everything right, they went to the nearest cent, which we did. All right, we're all set, thanks.